Hello and welcome to my channel. So, I'm in my car today. I want to talk to you about speed. For example, take this car. It doesn't look like much, but it does 0 100 kilometers in 6.5 seconds. That's pretty fast, you know, for a stock car. So, why I'm starting with this strange pitch, you may ask. Well, thing is, I want to talk to you about speed of PC software namely the Affinity Designer versus, as you probably saw by the thumbnail, Adobe Illustrator. They're both decent programs, that's for sure. But what about speed? The Affinity Designer supports multi-threading and multi-core, obviously, to the full extent, especially on Apple products. Uh, while Adobe Illustrator does some multi-threading, but um, not to a great extent and it's mostly a single core program. It uh, does some things multi-core way-ish, but generally speaking it's uh, still single core. And what are we? In 2005? Or maybe even in the 90s? So now let's go back to my PC and check out how they work with some simple tasks that I got for them. Let's quickly check out my PC specs. Here they are, Core i9. Uh, for memory I got 48 gigs. This PC is quite powerful. And now let's get to the comparison in Affinity Designer. DPI 300. So, wait, great. And boom, here we are. Let's do some vector brush. Let's draw a line like this, like this, like this and slow down and have it go like this and whatever you can see how smooth it's going uh, I'm drawing with my mouse not with the pen so when I stop it's basically me stopping when it stops yeah if we switch to nodes, we can immediately start editing. It doesn't slow down. Yeah, let, let, if I can select. It doesn't slow down. It works as it's supposed to work. I move all the nodes in different trajectories. And it just instantly works. And that's it. Okay, and now let's make a new Adobe Illustrator document. As you can see, its performance is already jittery. Uh, I just hover with my mouse over these icons and uh, it just doesn't catch up with it. You see, it barely, barely highlights uh, where the cursor currently is. But let's give it a shot anyway. Okay, so now let's try to replicate what we did in the Affinity Design and see how fast it draws, basically. Okay, now let's try to draw our line here. As a reminder, we got this image and uh, as you can see the line goes where it moves and yeah it's basically even if i move my cursor very fast it just goes and goes and goes and on and on and on and on and on yeah so let's try the same in the adobe illustrator i got the brush tool selected it's a basic brush uh, nothing fancy no additional lines 10 points round round brush it's already like sticking to the canvas I, I'm, I'm, do, I'm not pressing anything you see it barely keeps up with the cursor okay, now let's start drawing oh what's going on come on can I get a circle here oh and it appears like ages after I move my cursor, I'm still holding the mouse button. I'm just doing it like I would in the affinity. 
Come on, what's going on, Adobe? Is it 2005? Or maybe just 2000? <laughs> I think I think the app's gonna crash. Okay, nothing happened. Oh, it can't keep up. It can't keep up. It's just breaking. You see, I draw a line, but even though I'm still holding the the button, it just stops. It can't. It can't continue. I have to unpress the button and continue again. Does their lines have like a limit of how long they can be? Oh, you see? It's already... Come on. I want to draw further. But I think we can safely assume that the Adobe Illustrator is god awful slow. Like, not just slow, but very slow. I'm not uh, the guy to tell you. Well, as you can see, first of all, it's extremely slow. The, the line that we draw barely keeps up with the mouse cursor. And it also stops at some point. I don't know why. See? And by the way, you saw it. let's let's just clear this up. Let's clear this mess up and uh, check it out. You see, I want to draw a straight line and then go like this, 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 and probably like this. Okay, now it stops. Uh, th you see the curves here, 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 like how I drew it. Now, check this out. I'm unpressing the button. Boom. The line is smooth, but, well, it's not what I drew. Now, let's check the nodes out. Oh, I get why, why it's so so messed up you see how how little there are not many anchor points how they call them uh, in Adobe Illustrator there are not much of them this is one node and the next one is already here here we got three of them but this line is just a straight straight line we can add some curves and so on, but uh, you see what's going on? It not only limits the length of your line, but it also adds only a limited number of anchors on it. Okay, now let's go back to the thing. Let's also clear this up and this, and let's uh, again draw a vector brush line. And let's make it like this. This goes very, very smooth. I can do fast lining, like it never ends. But yeah, you get the idea. Let's unpress. You see how little it's changed? You see every little cranky detail about my line is here to stay. It didn't cut these these points out you see how many nodes it created along the way so you get the idea right in terms of vector brush at least first of all the affinity designer is much much faster and by the way if you're using the latest apple products the affinity designer just shines on them because they really did some things to make sure that it works perfectly on M1 chips and uses them to their full capacity. Even on older, though very powerful at the time and uh, they still are, I don't consider my workstation 
too outdated, you know. Core i9 chips are still quite powerful, mind you, for these kind of tasks. It's uh, just an overkill to use uh, such processors. As you can see, I think the designer is just faster than the Adobe Illustrator. This is a very basic task of just drawing a vector line, you know, with a brush. Nothing fancy, no transformations, no added effects, uh, nothing. Just basic stuff. So, that's it. As you could see, the Affinity Designer is quite powerful in terms of speed anyway. I'm not against using Adobe products. You know, I used to have Adobe subscription for quite a while, then I cancelled it, but now I got it back anyway because uh, you know adobe is the industry standard and what can you do people just want adobe you know clients they send you files even though affinity does open most of the psd files and such but well sometimes it's just easier to work uh, with the original product you know but that said i hope uh, affinity will keep on adding features keep on growing uh, I hope they have some plan for the future growth because um, some features the community be, been asking for years and uh, they are still not implemented. I don't know if, if either they don't know how to do that or just uh, don't want at the current point of in time. I mean features like raster to vector for example. Where is it? The forum threads date back to 2015 if i remember correctly or maybe 16 anyway it's 2021 already and there's still no such feature implemented so come on affinity guys i really like you <laughs> well anyway i hope you like this short comparison i tried to show you what it's all about and as always see you in the next one